Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun and as well a Rising uh, and Moon, also a, a weekly general tarot readings, guys. And uh, the first reading that I'm going to do is going to be your love one uh, for the upcoming week. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, just to remind you here, that is a general reading for the <coughs> for the uh, collective Capricorn energy. Therefore, as said, the reading is going to show energies and potentials that you can unfold. Although, if you don't like doing it by all means do whatever feels suits you uh whatever you feel suits you best so with that being said uh moving to the uh, general law of tarot reading first card that we do have for you is going to be the eight of pentacles uh moving next we do have the page of cups followed by the queen of swords and the other one here that will be the ace of wands <clears throat> so funny enough uh, that is uh, my second time trying to make the reading and uh, we do have almost the same cards excluding the uh, page of uh, cups here onto the second position which literally gives almost the same kind of message to you as the previous one. Uh, the rest are kind of the same <laughs> and uh, what the reading is all about it is the overcoming the stagnation that you may have into your um, into your current situation that doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, okay? Because situations varies and you may find yourself struggling with the situation of, for example, finding love. But <clears throat> uh, this uh, this reading reflects more toward those that are disconnected with. Uh, with their partner or with their person of interest. And uh, what the reading shows, it is that, um, how can I say, there is no overview, all right? There is no um, bettering the circumstances on their own accord with time. But rather, you, Capricorn, as an individual, have to work it through with uh, the other person that you may have an issue with to a point where by the end of the week, you both are going to see a uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, for those that are within a marriage, uh, we do have here the Queen of uh, Swords, and that, to me, speaks about a, a therapeutic help, like a, a, um, a marriage counsellor, you know, couples therapist, or a, a community friend that sees both situations uh, sideways or uh, from a side, having a... Um, objective view okay and being able to give you both a sound advice how you can overcome the situation that stagnates you but uh, nonetheless uh, this uh, this week it is the week where you have to address those uh, those issues that you may have either um, tiny or colossal within the framework of your love life with a conscientiousness and as well with a subtle eye for the minor details for uh, the week is going to be crucial uh, in regards to your long-term plans, okay? Whatever you do accomplish throughout the week will stick with you in the long run as a plan that it is going to unfold in the future. Now, that being said, <clears throat> it is highly advisable for those that are within the relationship or having an interaction and not to do things that they don't want them, that they don't want those things to be done to themselves. So don't humiliate your partner, you know, don't uh, put your uh, person of interest with their back against the wall and etc. etc. For they will not going to respond 
in a good way, so to say. Those that are having no relationships whatsoever, those that are having no people of interest around them. Eight of Pentacles, it is the only card that needs to be taken under consideration here. I pretty much reflects to that you have to step into the world. Okay, sitting on your couch is not going to bring the love to you or in your house. You got to display in in front of the world or within the world that uh, you are ready to uh, you are ready to receive uh, to receive it. Regardless, uh, by the end of the week, you can expect quite a bit gaining for enterprise. The Ace of Wands stands for it and stands as well for the spark of inspiration. Like I said, seeing the light at, uh, at the end of the tunnel. What happens after you embark the light? Well, that uh, mainly depends on you and how you interact with the future. But um, the Ace of Wands re uh, reflects on, uh, on experiences that you are yet to cover. So things that you don't have, you haven't experienced yet, okay? Activities and enterprises that you haven't experienced yet or you have a little clue how to feel and how to act in them. And uh, it will be a learning curve that uh, you will have to go through, but nonetheless, you are going to get the hang of it pretty, pretty quickly. So that was your uh, love uh, tarot reading Capricorn. Now uh, let me, oops, sorry guys. Let me just, the card fell down. Uh, let me put the, uh, the cards back into the deck and reshuffle for your uh, career reading and also muffle the voice, the sound of my computer. Uh, so, so I was about to say relationship wise, just don't give up on the things you have already started. That, that's the bottom line of the reading because there is always a, a better future, but it's not going to come on its own accord. Um, so in terms of a career, uh, the first card we have for you, that is going to be the Nine of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Six of Wands. Moving next, uh, that will be the uh, Page of a Pentacles. And the last one, we do have the judgment. So just by the look of the first couple of cards, I would strongly recommend to you to just give yourself a break and don't push the thing so hard as you may try to push them for, throughout the week because the, um, the whole week revolves around building up a plan, building up on an idea, identifying the future course of your career and the future course of your job. Now, as that is under a development, by the end of the week, a, um, a resolution that will present itself as a, uh, or it will serve, I'm sorry, it will serve itself as a, a major breakthrough is going to happen. But that is a mental work, okay? That is something that cannot be manifested with your hands, if I may say it that way. That being said, don't stress yourself out for your performance in terms of material manifestation does not breed huge results, if it breeds any results whatsoever. That is because we do have the six of wands into the second position of the spread. and It, it literally speaks of that no milestones are going to be accomplished for, throughout the week. And even worse, in some cases, that you may put a colossal effort behind some kind of, a, I don't know, performance of yours. You may achieve the good thing, but you are not going to receive the rewards nor the recognition that stands behind it or that should accompany that achievement or that milestone. So why should you put yourself into under such stress, I'm sorry, and, and at the end of the day, work so hard to make somebody else richer since they are not willing to share their good fortune with you. Uh, so yeah, that's why I am advising you Capricorn, just, you know, give yourself a break, take a couple of days off, do whatever you feel is best for you to recharge, for your experience will be needed after that, after this, um, breakthrough or a resolution of your st of the stagnation of your career regardless of how big that stagnation is because for some it could be very milder for others it could be a rather gigantic or, okay or ginormous uh, uh, stagnation 
uh, appear itself. It's gonna be uh, very sudden, out of nowhere. Uh, take it like take it like that. It is like you you know what it's kind of like you have a, a a vision over your career and how the career should be structured from now on, right? But there are pieces of the puzzle that are missing how to get there while well, those pieces are going to align by the end of the week and now having all of the ingredients around uh, you will be able to make your drive or your progress moving forward from there that is how judgment pretty much pretty much uh, sticks too um, in regards to that planning I was talking about at the start of the week, you have to draw from your previous experience, okay? You are there, you are a part of that plan, for you do have the necessary knowledge, for you do have the necessary skills that can be incorporated within the planning, within the planning oh my God, itself. And uh, the planning will happen with uh, a, a person here, it stands as the Page of Pentacles, um, that's that person will help you so you are the driving force of the planning of this project or that task you know or of the private business you do have that person around that it is pretty loyal it's actually very loyal and uh, it's very very devoted okay willing to i cannot say willing to give everything but it's willing to stick up until the end so it's a, a faithful companion there and uh, together you can achieve great things although those things are gonna come on a later stage because they do those achievements with that person are to happen very slowly so those that are jobless uh, for what it seems the week is gonna present you with an opportunity here and it's gonna be rather a very very good opportunity that opportunity, however, is not going to be based on your recent accomplishments, but rather on your cumulative set of skills and experience. And that opportunity may come from a person that you do find, you know, that it is close to you. So that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Till then, bye.